Hello once again my fellow Jetty users. A short time ago I did a, a little series of videos upon request to have a butterfly or a crow breaking if you prefer and throttle on the same stick and there were a few varieties of how you could do this. One of them was that the throttle stick from midpoint forwards would be uh, throttle and from midpoint backwards would be the butterfly breaking. Well I've been uh, getting a request from Paul Lassance, hello Paul, to uh, put in a bit of a safety modification into that so that uh, when he switches into the landing flight mode, which is where the butterfly would be active, if he's pulled the stick too far back, it doesn't suddenly whack in the, the brakes. And similarly, uh, as he switches out of that landing mode, and so the throttle could become active again, that uh, if the stick's too far forward, it doesn't just suddenly jump to that power setting. Uh, could this be done? Well, yes, it can. And what we're going to do is basically use the same program that we use for the extra safe throttle cut. Uh, I have a video about that as well, if you want to look for it. And the idea in the extra safe throttle cut is that when you move your throttle cut switch to the motor run position, it still doesn't become active until you bring the stick all the way back to motor off and then move it forward again. So it prevents the motor suddenly bursting into life if the throttle is open whilst you move the switch to the on position. And we can simply modify the switching points of that to around about mid stick and modify the directions of it so that uh, when you switch flight mode into the landing mode where butterfly is active it can't actually work until you move the stick back up to the mid position i.e butterfly off and then pull it back towards you and we do the same with the throttle um, except that you know with instead of the throttle having to come all the way back the stick all the way back it only has to come back to at least behind the mid position for the throttle to become active so let's have a look at what we've done to get this. Uh, we have a quick look and in fine tuning I have got just for the sake of this one one flight mode set up on this switch here. If I move the camera a little bit you might just see it slightly better the switch. So we're switching between default and landing mode on that switch just for the sake of this one. And we have to then set up a uh, butterfly uh, which we do here so in default flight mode and we've changed it to flight mode specific there's no control and if we look in the alien slaps adjustment there's no values okay but when we switch to landing mode logic switch 3 takes control of the butterfly and there is values I've just put in huge values so at least you can see it on the screen okay and uh, the effect of all the logic switches I'm about to show you is as follows. If we have a look in here, and I'll just move the camera off its little cradle so that I can let you see the sticks moving and, and prove it. Okay, uh, we go to motor, or not landing mode anyway, so we want the throttle, which is channel 1, to be able to work. And it should only work once the stick's above half mark. There it goes, that's what we want. And, you know, throttles all the way off by the time the stick's at half. And pulling the stick all the way back won't bring on the butterfly because it's not in landing mode. Now, push the throttle all the way forward. I'll switch on landing mode. That locks the throttle at the off position. And as we bring the stick back, once we reach the midway point, we'll see three and four, which are ailerons, uh, and five and six, which are the flaps. Actually, it's the other way around, sorry. Three and four flaps, five and six ailerons. Doesn't matter for the sake of this demonstration. Lo and behold, there we get our butterfly. Okay, so that sort of works kind of as we intended. Now, the issue is, what if I've taken the butterfly off, I've left the throttle stick fully forward, and I switch landing mode off? There's the important thing. It does not jump to full throttle. It's stuck at motor off. I have to bring the stick back 
to the midway point or behind, and then the throttle works. And similarly, you know, I've decided I'm coming to landing mode, I've throttled off and I've brought the throttle stick all the way back. I switch to landing mode. Will it jump to full butterfly? No, it doesn't. Once again, I've got to get the stick back up to the midpoint and then pull it back and it engages the butterfly. So that's what we're setting out to achieve with all of this. I'll we'll put the little cradle back on and we'll have a look at the programming that's required. Um, where are we? Yep. So it's logic switch three. You'll see in a moment how we get to that. The offset, as we've seen in the previous program about uh, the programming of this. And in case I forget to do it later on, yep, logic switch three is just pretty much as it should be uh, when you assign that no center. That's the way it would automatically default to when you're assigning control in the butterfly menu. It's not reverse, it's just proportional. Okay. Um, we'll come out of here and let's have a look at the logic switches that do all of this. Well, we've got six logic switches in total. The first three deal with the butterfly and the next three, that's four, five and six, deal with the motor run. And if you've ever looked at the extra safe throttle switch, uh, you'll probably recognize L1 and L2 and L4 and L5 because that is basically the extra safe throttle switch, but just with um, the trigger points and the directions slightly adjusted. So let's take a look first of all at L1. L1 is the control P4, which is our proportional stick. Let's have a look at how it's set up. It's press proportional until you get this screen. Yeah, and I've set the switch on point at plus 5%. You could have it at zero or two or three or four or five percent. That is, that's the amount above the midpoint. Watch the little bar graph. That's the stick all the way back. Stick all the way forward. Stick at about center, which is still off. And boop, there it switches on. So you need it to be switched on when the stick's forward. Switched off when the stick is back. Okay. So you say okay to that one. Control 2, SC, is the uh, switch I'm using for the flight mode. Uh, you may be using a three position switch, but you set it uh, to the position in which you want butterfly to work. So in this case, in the, the landing flight mode. Okay, and the condition is a multi. And then with the landing mode on and moving the throttle stick, it should go from zero to on zero to on full throttle. If you switch landing mode off, it should go now from zero at the top to a cross at the back. Okay. And then again, logic switch two, control one is logic switch one. Okay. And control two, once again, is the landing mode flight switch or landing Flight mode switch, I should say, yes. Uh, again, assigned in the landing mode on position. And the condition is an AND. Okay. And then you should see in the screen these outputs. In the landing mode, where you want the butterfly to work, with this stick fully forward, uh, logic switch one is on. Logic switch two goes on and stays on as I move the stick forward and backwards. If I pull the stick all the way backwards, switch off, switch back onto landing mode, you can see that logic switch two is staying in the locked off position. And it's staying locked off until I've got the stick above the midpoint and bring it back again. Now, how do we turn that into a proportional control for the butterfly to use? Well, we do that in logic switch three, which is uh, our P4 stick, but very importantly, reversed. Um, but we need this in order for it to work properly when it reaches the um, butterfly input. Okay, so center is on, 
proportional is on, reverse is on. Okay? Linear type. Control 2 is logic switch 2, which is the, the safety on-off system. Condition is AND. Okay? Now, if we switch landing mode off, it locks at minus 100%. So nothing I do with the P4 stick changes that. Okay. And if the stick is fully forward and I switch landing mode on, it's now at minus 100% and I pull the stick back, it goes all the way to 100. Okay, I'll switch it off. It locks again at minus 100. And if I switch it on, it should stay at minus 100. It's locked in the off position. Remember, I've got the stick all the way back, should be full break. And it, if I move the stick up and down a bit, nothing happens until I get beyond the midpoint, ping, and there we are. We've got it working again, okay? Don't worry that it goes all the way up to these values here from the mid stick onwards, because remember, that's going to be handled by the offset value in the butterfly menu. Say okay to that. What do we do with L3? Well, if you remember, when we're in the butterfly menu, there's L3. Okay. Right, now, let's just do the same thing, but for the throttle. So once again, now we're going to start off basically just repeating all this, but in different trigger points, different directions. So, uh, the first one, control once again is P4. Let's have a look at it. Um... But in this case, it's reversed. I've left the switch on point at mid stick. So now the tick is on when I pull the stick back towards me and it's off when I push the stick forward for full throttle. OK. And the control is our flight mode switch in not the landing mode. Yeah. Multi again. OK. Logic switch 5 is just logic switch 4 and, once again, the switch in not the landing mode. Okay, so opposite to the landing mode. Condition is AND. Say OK. And, once again, now L6, in order to control the throttle, is going to be that P4. Let's have a look at it. Centred and proportional, but not reversed. OK. Again, linear. And control 2 is the logic switch 5, which is the sort of master on off for it. Condition is AND, and there we go. So, if we go to uh, landing mode, where we don't want the throttle to work, switch on landing mode, it is locked at minus 100%. I can move the throttle up and down, and that doesn't shift. Throttle all the way forward, landing mode off, it's still locked, the motor off. And I can move the throttle in the upper half, and nothing happens until I get it back below half. And boom, off we go again. Now it's working. Okay to that. Now what do we do with L6? Well, we have to assign that as the throttle. There you go. L6. There you go. Centered, proportional, not reversed. Okie dokie. Okay. And... We can actually have a look at it in its throttle curve, function curve, throttle. There's the throttle curve we're using, so the throttle only works in the upper half. And we are not in landing mode, so we want the throttle to work. And you can see from the, the gun sight moving as I pull the stick, stick fully forward, stick at middle, stick back. Yeah, I will switch to landing mode at half, th at about half throttle, so the stick's three quarters of the way forward, half motor run, I'll switch to landing mode, it's locked it in the off position, I'm moving this P4 stick, nothing happens. I'll leave the P4 stick fully forward, so at full throttle, so the gun sight should come up here, and I'll switch landing mode off, it doesn't, the gun sight's stuck down there, and it will only suddenly become active when I get the stick behind that point there. And then the gun sight will jump to where the stick is. There we are. It doesn't matter that it jumped to where it is because it's still all in the off position. Ooh. Yeah, well, did you hear that? They were predicting more thunder and lightning today, and there we go. So there you are. You can have all that extra safety in it, and I hope um, that works for you. 
have fun with that one, folks.